Hey, hope you're doing well. Edgar's from Solo Marketer here. And in this video, I want to show you how to quickly create an order bump in system.io or a bump offer, as I like to call it as well. So just in a couple of words, for those that don't know what a bump offer is or an order bump, it's essentially like an, uh, like an offer upgrade where with an additional step, like a checkbox, they can add in another product. Think of it as an impulse buy but obviously it needs to be relevant to the actual main product that they're buying on a sales page. And this should be complementary to that. It shouldn't be a vital part that the main product doesn't go without, but it's, yeah, it's just, it needs to be somewhat, let's just say they're buying a book and the bump offer is a, uh, is an audio book, right? Or uh, a real life example is if you do a checkout, you know, you gather all your groceries, you go to checkout and there's like candy and gum and, and magazines and all kinds of stuff, right? You didn't go for that stuff, the store, but part of the checkout, that's like a, a quick two, three second decision. Uh, some people opt in to buy those things as well. And also the reason to have one is uh, essentially on your side, obviously, besides offering a, a good product and more extra value at a reasonable price, it is a great way to make more money without uh, much more work. So for example, if you're selling, let's say a $50 product and you have a $30 bump offer. So for each product sold, let's say the bump offer converts like 20% of the people that buy the $50 product, 20% of them buy also the bump offer. So that's an additional $6 per purchase, which, you know, instead of 50 is 56, which might not seem like a lot, but after a hundred purchases, that's an extra $600. And that's where the value comes in because you put in a little bit of work, like an extra half hour at most and then it's zero upkeep and it's just extra revenue same thing goes for upsells downsells all that stuff too right so it's just a great way to maximize your revenue uh, from each person that comes through the funnel and to set it up you obviously need a sales page already i have like a template example page of a, uh, of a book on gardening and also you need the product that needs to be connected to all this stuff right so now if we go to the sales page, we can go and actually set up the uh, bump offer. Here we are. This is the product. It's like a book plus some digital trainings and whatnot. And the bump offer will be a 90 day challenge. Uh, so actually I'm going to delete it. Let me recreate it. So it will look something like this. Obviously you have the checkout and here on the left side, if you want to add a bump offer or an order bump option, it's over here, order bump, you drag it in. I like to do it above the checkout button, like the last step, the last decision. And at this part is really short. It's like a five to 10 second decision. They put in all their credit card information. They've made the decision. They've, you know, they've done everything. It's just the last step. And it's like an extra, like a checkbox. It's like, oh, you know, I might find this uh, useful, that sort of a thing. This is not a big, something that they need, they need to sleep on. So when it comes to this line, this is like a, yes, I want it is fine. But I would make it a little bit more specific, more action based instead of just sign up, purchase, you know, just kind of really specific to what the benefit is. So it would be something like if we click on it and we type it in here, it would be something like, yes, I want an indoor. All right. So something like this, uh, something more specific. They can go. For, I wouldn't go too long, maybe a couple lines. This should be fine. And then let's add it to text itself. Let's click on it. And I would start with, when it comes to the structure, I would start with like an action-based call to action next to the check mark, which is yeah, obviously this part. And then uh, get their attention, with, like the first line, like some something that really like catches their, you know, as they're scrolling, catches their attention. What do they get? Also kind of quickly list out what's actually in this thing. What are they buying if they are opting in for it? And uh, also, you want them to give a reason why now this is an impulse buy and, and it's pretty much, yeah, always it's it's like a only at this point you can get it for this price. Other times you're going to pay the full price or much more or whatever. You need to give them a reason now. So obviously with digital products, there's you can give a big discount. You can give like a time limit. And obviously in the end, you want to reassure what the action is that they need to take. So yeah, let's just write it out and it will make more sense. This is a limited time offer. All right, so here's the price. We're upfront about a price. It's a limited time offer. Uh, next one would be, uh, what do they get? Get access to an exclusive where you will. So I don't know, benefit one, benefit two, benefit three, whatever they're getting, whatever they're learning as part of this, what, whatever is in this 90 day challenge as an example. And uh, why now? So we can write something like, this is a 
one anywhere else all right give them a reason and uh yeah last one is like uh, what do they need to do to get this check the box above to upgrade your order and get instant access for only $29 percent discount so something like this you can space it out it's pretty I wouldn't say really wordy, but you know, it's quite a bit. This needs to be a quick decision. So if you think they can kind of read this within five to 10 seconds, then we're good. I can bold this, kind of space it out a little bit just so it's easier on the eye. Don't go too crazy on the benefits or what they're getting. And yeah, this should be pretty simple. I guess you can emphasize the price as well. You can emphasize either the price or the discount, which is a bigger number. Uh, instead of 29, it's 80. So I would emphasize the 80. Uh, so yeah, keep it short. And now we can save it. And we can go back to uh, the funnel menu itself and actually connect this to a product. So now we're back at the sales page over here where we added the, the order bump. And if you want to scroll down, obviously you can connect the main product here, digital product, resources, price plans, all that. Um, and here you can have the order bump. Let's just delete it just so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, it's going to look like this, add order bump, right? So let's click on it. Uh, digital product in this case resources which means you just add a course or whatever you're giving away so whatever it is you just add the course obviously it's not the same thing uh, full access partial drip usually it's full access you just give the whole thing partial if it's like part of a course if it's like one module out of eight and drip content that's you give them like weekly or daily additional access to new things but for for order bumps, it's usually just full access. It's not a big thing. It's like an impulse buy, a small course or template set or, you know, that sort of a thing. It's nothing, nothing huge. So yeah, let's just select full access. Let's click save. And then for the price plans, I'm just going to, obviously, if you have one, you just select it, but I'm just creating a new one. Uh, so we'll do challenge. All right, let's do this. Let's do that. These first two are for the... Um, for the invoice uh, where it shows up on the invoice and also if it's like a standalone product ever on a sales page it's going to show up there as well as this so i keep those two the same and fairly short this one goes on the bank statement i think bank challenge keep it short i think it was 22 symbols 22 character limit yep 22 so keep it short price plan type again one-time payment it gets if there's like more payments it gets complicated and some people might misread it this is like an impulse buy it's a one-time payment it's not a subscription usually so let's do that 29 and save so that's it you've connected it but yeah this is this is it and it should should be functional and if you have any other questions make sure to comment below also, there's a uh, free sales page template at the, in the description below. Might be like a pinned comment as well. Make sure to check those out. Or also somewhere on a screen right now, maybe on that side, uh, there should be a couple of videos popping up that will that will talk more about uh, creating courses and creating sales pages on System.io for free. So make sure to check those out as well. And yeah, and hopefully I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.